I decided to investigate, so for the last three or four weeks, I've been watching all the videos I can and finding out, you know, what's the best foam maker, you know, to shoot the foam in the car. Uh, how do you wash the car? Um, you know, one of the quick connects you need to hook the thing up that make it a lot easier to hook it up. So I went through all of this, and hopefully this is helpful to you because I'm gonna list all the pieces that I use here uh, in my demonstration. Um, I just previously washed the Honda that I have out here, and gosh, the car looks bright. Looks like the day I bought it, the exterior. And it, the car's four, four or five years old. I don't know how many years old it is. We've had it quite a while. And um, it looks great. Looks like the day we got the car. I can't believe it. The car looks great. So anyway, this car looks great, and I want to keep this car looking great. So um, anyway. So I went around, I watched all these guys uh, with a foam wash and uh, how simple it is to do and getting the big towel. And I'm also using, as I showed you on the other one, the Honda over here, I use the big towel I got from uh, Chemical Guys. Anyway, got any comments, leave them down below. Um, I read all the comments. I read every one of them. And uh, if you have some ideas about how to do it better, I'm, I've got an open mind here. Tell me what you do that you think somebody else should do when they power wash their car. Is, is, is there a step I'm missing? Is there a little tweak or a little thing I should do uh, that, that, um, that should be better? Please comment down below and we'll definitely follow uh, and give it, a try, give it a try. So this is my gas powered pressure washer and uh, it needs a few attachments. This is 50 feet of uh, hose. This works really good. You won't have to put anything else. You don't need anything any longer than this. I have all quick disconnect uh, pieces on here. So um, that's the first thing I'm gonna hook up of these two guys. So let me take this outside. There's two things I have to hook up in the back. I don't, I wish there was one in the front and one in the back, but both connectors are back here. And I put good, quick connects on both ends so it makes it real easy to take these on and off. So I'm gonna hook up the power washer and then I'm gonna go around and get the hose and hook up the hose so we'll have both things ready to go. And the only other thing I have to show you, two more things I have to show you. This is the um, handle or gun, if you, I like to call it the gun. Uh, that I bought and I'll put a link to blow on this one too and this also has a quick disconnect on it so it makes it real real easy and this swivels by the way too so I'm gonna take one end of this and put it on here it's that simple then I'm gonna go over here I'll connect it onto the hose end and we'll be ready to go we just need the water and the, oh, well, let me show you the uh, bottle. This is an M, this is an MJJC foam cannon, and I think this is probably the best foam cannon on the market today. I haven't done a thing to this. There's, they even give you another insert that goes inside here uh, if you want a smaller orifice to let the water go through and the soap go through, and uh, but I don't need it. And what I use, just so you know, is this body wash and body wash and wax extreme by Chemical Guys. This works pretty good. It has this opening, this guy here that opens and closes, so you can change the uh, the width of the uh, of the spray. And then if you turn this, you can either go horizontal or you can go vertical with your foam spray. And then this controls the foam. I left it right where it came from the factory. Didn't touch a thing and the, it foamed up really good yesterday on my wife's car. So let's uh, get this all set up and let's go shoot some foaming action and see what we get. So the first thing we want to do is wet this down, which is what I'm going to do. Get the water off. So 
so we just wet that wetted the car down. Now I'm going to put on suds maker, the foam cannon, and so what I have to do is take off this this little guy right here. I'll put that in my pocket, and I put this little guy on here. So now we're ready to go. So, that's a good foaming. <laughs> and as you can see, we get, come in here, honey, we get really good soap there. It's great soap. And so we're loaded with soap here. So the next thing, there's a couple of things you can do now. You can take your mitt, wash mitt, keep it nice and clean, just go, strokes, light strokes, up and down the car. This car is so clean right now, I don't think I have to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take the sprayer and I'm going to get rid of the soap and then I'm gonna dry the car. So I put my little white nozzle back in and you do that this way. I'm gonna start her up again. There's still a little pressure there. I'm gonna start up again. We're gonna rinse off the whole car, so stand by. We're gonna do, go into the rinse mode. Getting ready to wipe the car, get yourself a nice towel like this. Can you see this towel? Yeah. 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 Get yourself a nice towel like this. And uh, this is called Speed Wipe from Chemical Guys. And what I do is I spray a little bit of it on. And then I just wipe the car. Okay. And it leaves a nice, uh, it leaves some very, very nice, a uh, little, a, a little extra shine on the car. It's really pretty cool. Through the window. Now, normally I would go right to the blower and blow this off, but where it's out in the sun, I want to get this off as quick as I can. So, I'm, uh, I'm doing this right now. So. but I'll show you in a second. I'll get the blower out and we'll uh, blow dry this. And you'll see what I mean. 
but everything that's in the sun I want to get get a shot of. And if this somehow or other, this seems to coagulate the water better and it gets more water on the towel a lot quicker than if I didn't put any spray at all. So I'm doing a couple of things. I'm getting a little wax on the car and I'm getting the water up so that we don't get any uh, water spots on the car. And watch while I go around the wheels here. If you look, I wish you could see the car right now. Pat, what would you say when looking at the car? What would you say about the, what would you say about the car just by looking at it from your filming point of view? It looks brand new and shiny. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It really is amazing. Now I didn't wipe the hood very well, so I'm gonna go back over here and just give this, I'm just dragging the towel along. I'm not putting any pressure on it really. And I want to tell you, <laughs> I don't know how you beat it. So somebody asked me the other day, well, what's, why don't you just rinse the car off? Why, you know, why are you going through all this? Because when you put the soap on there, there's a, as I mentioned earlier, there's some wax involved in it. And that wax and everything, when you finish the car, it looks like I just buffed the crap out of the car. It looks like I spent all day putting a coat of wax on here. And it looks terrific. I mean, the shine on this car is nuts. I wish you could see it. But, um, so this is one of the reasons I uh, really like the foam. I like doing it. It's pretty easy, too. You watch me do it. I mean, it's, it's I'm, you know, I'm not, I didn't even break a sweat. I didn't even break a sweat out here. And the sun's out and it's about, what, 75, 80 degrees out here in Florida. And, uh, but just let me take the camera for a second. Look, can you see, can you see the reflection off the hood? I mean, holy crap. Look at the reflection down the side here. Look at the reflection on the uh, side of the car. I mean, look at all, look at all the uh, reflections going on in this car.